And of course, there comes the car. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I want to show you how to kill weeds in your garden or your uh, yard. Any area that you have that's uh, difficult to use a uh, sprayer or an area that you don't want to use a sprayer. Plus on windy days, you know, it's hard to use a sprayer. Not good to spray on windy days. But you'll need a, a mix of weed killer and a sponge or two. And you'll need some gloves to protect yourself from that weed killer. Now I didn't want to uh, spray this area because I've got bugs in the ground that I put out. And this boxwood has a lot of fine roots and the system and stuff. Now I didn't want to disturb those roots because I don't want to kill my boxwood. So I got to think about how I could kill these weeds. And I've come up with this here and thought I'd share it with you so that way you've got a hard area that uh, you keep having a weed come back in that you need to get rid of that weed but you don't want to harm your other plants with a spray and a spray. Uh, we'll show you how to do that. So come on along and we'll get started and show you real fast here how to take care of them more weeds and uh, grass. He distracted me. Yeah, I know he did. Sorry about that. He uh, fixed us some burgers and we gotta go eat. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to show you how this with you and uh, but anyway, I wanted to share this with you and hopefully it'll help you get rid of your problem area that you might have that you uh, keep having to constantly dig out that weed or that grass that keeps coming back and giving you trouble. So I'll do this again in a couple weeks. No, I'll do it again in an hour and then in a week I'll do it again if I need to. So let's get started. Weed, start at the back of your bed. Get your weed, put your sponge on one side of it, and then have the sponge on the other side. Come up through there and draw it up that plant. Squeeze it a little bit, see, because you want to get that plant good and wet. Now, if you've got a big sponge, you'll just need one. But I couldn't find a big sponge at the store. Just keep wetting it. You know you got the plant good and wet. Work your way through your bed and then let it dry, come back an hour later and do it one more time. That way you make sure you've got all of it and that it's got a good coating of weed killer on it. I'd like to share this with you. It'll help you get uh, rid of the unwanted weeds that you can't dig out. And if you keep pulling, you know, they, the root grass is something that just keeps coming back. It has a awful root system and uh, I dug one out the other day and it was a good six inches down in the ground. I'm going to get this done. Because I can tell it's getting good and wet because uh, the leaves are starting to shine a little bit and they're looking a little darker. Guess I didn't need two sponges, you just really need one. Why 
fire long sleeves so you don't get the weed killer on you. And, uh, this way it's not splattering on your other plants. If you've got like a long piece like I've got and it wants to follow towards your other plants, just take them, tie them together, keep them from flopping away from each other and uh, touching, getting that weed killer on your other plants. Go back and wet your sponge every once in a while and just work your way through the weeds or grass or whatever you're trying to kill. Sorry about the traffic, guys. It's been warm today and people are out. I've got a couple days off work and uh, I'm going to try and get some things done around here. It's my birthday's tomorrow. I will be 60. I made it to 60. Never thought I would, to tell you the truth. I mean, I come from a large family and uh, we grew up hard. So I just I always thought I wouldn't live to be 60 years old. So I made it. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I just wanted to share with you, you know, like I said, a way to uh, kill out the weeds and grasses that are in your beds that you don't want to use a sprayer because, like I said, it'll splatter on your other plants and kill them. I know I've done it. And uh, this keeps me from having to rip the soil up around my box so and take a chance of killing it because uh, I think it'll make a really pretty temporary right there once it, you know, Really heavy grow. It'll take a few years to get that ball shape that I want on there. But uh, once I get rid of that Bermuda grass, then I want to try and put uh, like some ground cover underneath the boxwood. So thanks for joining me. Just wanted to show you this little simple trick that you can do to get rid of those weeds. Y'all stay safe. Take care. God bless.